Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Red Games and welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale version, Telltale series, uh, whatever you want to call it. We're starting episode three. This is uh, right after we entered some asteroid of a planet, Emneos, Emios, Emneos. I don't remember what it's called. Something along those lines. Previously and on Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, this will explain it to you. Eventually. There we you go. don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. It's Lila. And we tried to get away. But she couldn't. We had to leave without her. But maybe with that relic, I can make her ungone. Ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind. That kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. They really should have put like crickets or something in the background. I promise. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. The eternity Die forge now. resides here. Uh -huh. Ending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. And drank Until responsibly. Then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. And across the Spider Verse. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. I don't think it's his mom specifically. I think that's very strange. If it is, I mean that's real weird, right? Like if it's his mom. Like, the whole time it was his mom, and his mom was some super weird space weirdo. No, because he's half human. I, I know, like, I'm going back to a lot of the MCU stuff, and I know the MCU doesn't necessarily follow the comics. But the fact that his father was ego and he was half human. Oh, yeah, let's see what this is. You're nearly there, Peter. He saw his mom. Can I go forward? Be ready. It bugs me that there's no other music to this. Like, what the hell? Okay, we're nearly there, but where's there? What is it? Oh, God, another flashback? Uh, just give me the damn eternity forgery. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Dire Warrior 4, huh? Oh, is it the cancer? Another headache? Oh, headache. Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took um, me by surprise. It looks really painful. Look like a little headache. Nothing I can't handle, especially with you looking out for me. Hey, hey, what's going on? I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Sure. Java, you train, train by phone. I know. I want to call that number. Easy for you. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. I'll be a perfect little angel, like always. Hmm. I better hurry back then. Mom will remember that for the soon. next five minutes. So I was looking at the game tester thing. I want to call that number. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. The Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing anyway? Uh, she's doing she's fine. She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. There we go. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. In about an hour. Oh, my God. Hey, an hour? Hey. Are you the guy I punched I in the face? Your boyfriend? <laughs> um, so you what got a problem with that? You got some kind of problem with that? I got a problem with you. Yeah. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you yes. afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? How's your gross teeth doing? Give me that. No. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. 
Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help, like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewer right now. Come on. Let's not do this, man. Yeah, it's messed what? up. We're just talking. You gonna cry now? Huh? Use your words Not like yet. your mom said. Elephant ears. All right, not you those words. Great reception with those things. Nah, I'm not done. But your mom? She sure is. Mm. My dad goes drinking with her doctor. Told him everything. Guess she didn't feel like it was important enough to tell you. <laughs> oh, check it out! Dead woman walking. What's the point? Drugs ain't gonna help. Mm. My dad says you're gonna die anyway. Where'd you get those bruises, huh? Your dad? Or does your mom have a good swing too? I'm gonna go to your funeral just to see your son cry. Why do you get to hit him? Get out. My dad's gonna- Out! You kept your promise. You didn't fight that jerk. I'm I really could have. I mean, okay, sure, I Even guess. I didn't set a very good example. The things he said. Yeah, it was rough, man. It was like really the rough. Emotions get the better of me. I'm sorry you heard that. No, Peter. It's okay. I'm sorry I heard that. He said you were dying, Mom. Is that true? Find me, please. So close, Peter. That was a little intense, man. Close to what? Can we just get to the part where we're close and we're there? What the? Close down there? More than a feeling. Home? home, Earth home? Are you sure you're home, home? You look like you're just on a forest moon of Endor. Not quite. But you're on a forest. You're in a forest. You have a, you're on a planet that has trees. You can be anywhere. Are you on Emneos? 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 Uh huh. Woods. See, now they had the crickets and everything. Gamora. Gamora. You all right? Gamora. Hey, Gamora. Did you see an Eternity Forge Vision 2? Was it Thanos? Was he mad? Was he mad that we killed him? Hey. <laughs> Are you okay? Because this temple is really messing with my head. Hello, Gamora. <laughs> oh, hey, Gamora. Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. I'm not Nebula. Nebula. It's me. Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill. Hang on. Come on, this isn't fair. I don't have a sword. Still don't have a sword. You don't care about fair, huh? All right. What are you grabbing onto? The blade. Kick her in the face. Maybe she'll wake up. I, I'm, I'm assuming she realizes, or she thinks that she's fighting Nebula. Did I lose? Did she slice through my poor little face? My poor little baby's face? My poor little cute face? What is happening? Um... Did I break the game? Let's see if we can not break the game this time. Hey, all right. Go. Oh. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perceptions just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want well, to this is before all the cyborg stuff. Room. I'm 
sick of just doing the same thing over and over every single day. Be patient. Be patient, Nebula. You'll get your chance soon enough. So now I need patience too? Yes. Okay, bye. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> hardly. Hardly. You're working hard or hardly working? <laughs> I'm hardly laughing. Yep. Uh, this. I got you. <coughs> Just a little. X, 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 X. A bunch of X's. Get it. I can't. Gamora, you're hurting me. Uh, Peter. Uh. That's probably the right thing to do, right? We gotta get to talk to Thanos again. Ha! Suck it. Nebula, you have grown so much. Father, I you mean... may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. I mean, I'm proud. Don't you agree, Gamora? Nebula <laughs> uh, is a cheater. I won because she cheated. She blindsided me. If you had a blindside, the fault is yours. I have a mission for you. She's you will cheater. go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, a device. you will fetch the device for me. Why me? Why you, not Nebula? Nebula, you will kill the General. Okay. Thank you, Father. Thank you? I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. He called me daughter. Gamora. You were always my favorite. But you have become cold. Distant. We will not disappoint you, father. But you already have, Gamora. The hell? Otherwise, you would not be taking Nebula with you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora. I know you no longer care, but if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. So he's a dick, right? We can all agree Thanos is a dick dad? Is everything all right? What's going on? He wants to talk to you. you. But Father... Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? He's waiting. Have fun, you two. Okay, bye. Are we just, are we just pretending that she doesn't have a sword to Peter's throat right now? Is that what's happening? We stepped into a weird light and then we went back in time. Now we have to do this secret sneaky this, mission. This is it. Yeah. My this chance is to prove it. myself. Or fail miserably. Uh, I got your back. Don't worry, Nebula. I've got your back. No. I've got to do this myself. All right. It's what I've been training for. You're trying to help. I won't let Father down. Well, let Father down. I won't let Let's Father just do this. down. Let's just do this. I'm Gamora. Hello, Mr. General, sir. I'm here to kill you. Hello. They have brought you many things. I have brought you only death. Stabby, stabby, stab, stab, stab. X. Okay. 
I mean, that could have gone quieter. There's no reason you need to kick that high. How did no one notice anything? Uh huh? Oh! Ma, yeah, we're not we're not being quiet anymore. Yeah. Triangle. Oh, there we go. So it was like X to move and then triangle. Get it. Gotcha. Gotcha. R2, thank you very much. R2, thank you very much. And I guess he's uh yeah, we're good. Ah, there we go. Nebula! What the hell was that? Huh? Good. Couldn't get it done. It's cool. We'll tell him you did it. Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill, and you took it from me. We succeeded together and just saved your life. I won't tell Thanos. Are you so upset with me? No, 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 no. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Father. Oh, well, screw you. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. All right, fine. Here, shut up. Saved your life, you know. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. I'm sorry, the what? You did the what and the how now? What? Why? I don't under... I don't get what's... Well, we know she didn't die because this isn't the past. Did this actually happen? What? What is, what is going on? What do you, what, what do you just smack me for? You slapped me. Do you have any idea what just happened? What? Ow! Slap fight. I was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me. Well, that's mm. not the way to do it. Well, apparently oh. it was. Stop. Stop slapping. Me. Oh. Ah, you're again. Okay, 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 okay. Uncle, uncle. Uncle? Stop it! I said uncle already! Not cool! Don't do that again. You don't do that again! Butt munch? I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the mm. temple, and, and the next day. Yeah, I, was... I, uh, I know. I know how this works. You... Did you see all that? Did you? My memory? Are you okay? Oh, I didn't know you actually saw it. I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. Mm hmm But seeing that... She doesn't she deserve it. being oh. selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. I mean... That's why she turned on me. Just and why she'll thing. never forgive what I did. Yeah. I saw what happened. You were just trying to protect her. You can't blame yourself for that. I'm not so sure. She also stabbed you through the gut. That last moment, it became everything. Well, sure. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. Mm hmm Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Uh, can't change the you past. Can't change the past, Gamora. 
Can't she change the future, Gamora. That's you can exactly only change the present, Gamora. Nebula is who she is because of me. Well, it's that mostly because hate, of Thanos. That coldness. Her inability to trust anyone. Yeah. She is Thanos' daughter. Exactly. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? Um, you got betrayed as well. No, I don't think you did. Um, you didn't fail her. Listen to me. You didn't fail her. You don't fail at anything. You are the strongest person I know, okay? And I respect the hell out of you for that. Oh, yeah. And I don't just mean the ass kicking. I mean, believe me, you kick some serious ass. I do kick a lot of ass, huh? <laughs> hell yeah, you do. Now, come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... Stupid? Weird. Yeah. Oh, man. <coughs> My mom loved this song. There's no music playing, that Peter. Record non-stop. It'd be nice if they put some music in here, like royalty-free crap. I mean, I understand, like, I turned the music down. But the reason I did that was because everything's copyrighted. Peter, wait. Why? This place, it seems to be using our memories against us. Y'all yeah, think? We don't know what we'll find inside. Gamora, my mom could be in there. I need to do this. All right, Peter. I'm with you. All right. Let's go. We're on the way. Take me to church. I was about a bing bottle out of the blue. What do we got? Do you need to walk faster? Where are you going? There's no holy water over there. You can't bless yourself. Do you recognize this place? Yeah, it's for a funeral. Yeah. It might... This is where my mom... This is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. I means you're dead. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Let's find out. Only one way to know. And one way to find out. Go for it. All right, how many deep breaths are you going to take before you walk up to the coffin? Let's go. Uh, let's go. Come on. There you go. Of course. Is this something trying to keep me from the coffin, or is this the coffin trying to keep me away? <sighs> Lift. Uh, yep. Okay, it was just a glamour or whatever. All an illusion. Okay. Would you like to tell me what's going on, please? There's a body in there. And it looks like it's alive. Looks like a woman. Oh, God. Uh, who are you? It's Mantis, for God's sake. You have known me for a while now. Uh, not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... You came for me. 
After all these... Ooh, what are these? They're very shiny. Hey, over here. Focus. Oh, Peter Quill. That's me. You're really here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. Is that Clementine's voice from Walking Dead? We have met. Did we? But I was not me. Oh, it's just gonna get weirder. Come on. All right. Oh, there we go. I got you. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. Don't go falling in love. May I borrow that? The gun? No. No! Don't give her a gun. a gun! It will only be for a moment. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. <sighs> Very well, then. You're not even gonna tell me what you wanted it for? <laughs> wow. Didn't see that coming. <sighs> I'm guessing you were trapped there or something. It's so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. Uh huh. Um. So, do you want to tell me what what's going You're on? Truly, the hero the legends foretold. Okay. So brave and handsome. Thanks. Though. Perhaps not in the classical sense. <laughs> ah, you must have many questions for me. Yes. Uh, where's my mom? I crossed the entire galaxy because my mom was calling to me, asking me to come find her. Where is she? She is dead. But your mother, Meredith, she is alive in your memory. Yeah, that, Thanks. Uh, that doesn't explain anything. No. I have been <coughs> for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the celestial one, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Yes. You should be proud of freeing me. Okay. I no longer have to stare into the infinite crushing darkness. It was so boring. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Do yeah. it again, do it again. <laughs> With great pleasure. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Oh, sure it is. Watch this. She's going to tell me what I feel. Watch. Wiggle antennas. Uh, think about uh, Guardians. Oh, my. You and your friends truly are special. No wonder you are the ones to hold the Eternity Forge. It is an honor to be among you. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. Right. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> sure. Oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? Drax. Without question, Drax. I got just the one. You did it. Weird thumbs up, buddies. All right. <laughs> we might be wrapping this up here, I think. I heard a footstep. What is this? Why are her head tentacles glowing? The big green tattoo man is filled with sadness. What? No. He lacks direction. I do not lack direction. Only once have I required a map. <laughs> now he's ashamed for his outburst. Mantis is an empath, Drax. She can sense your emotions. I do not show emotion. Right now you're she's showing also anger. the one who made us relive our memories. That 
That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho Hala for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. Why are you on a table? Long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. The answer is magic. It's always magic. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Sure. It's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. No, Such not necessarily. Power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> this power was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving. Okay, okay, all right, just stop. I've, I've heard enough. I am Groot. Yeah, Ooh. Groot too. Groot says he wanted to hear more. I'm sure you all know my feelings on the matter. Then, I suppose the most <laughs> important part. There is a legend of the Celestial One. That's me. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Ooh. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Totally Someone me. can see beyond his own selfish desires. To choose for the greater good. Yeah, I think you got the wrong guy here. I'm just a kid from Earth. It does not matter where you were born. It only matters what you do. You are the Celestial One, Peter. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. You're lost. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. Ah, well, that explains Hala's delightful corpse collection. She'll bring them all back if she gets the forge. Fantastic. So it's incredibly useful to our worst enemy, but useless to us. It can be made more useful. How? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost Ones. Loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. Well, let's unlock this thing. You should know, this power comes with a price. What's the price? <sighs> Saw that coming. I did energy cannot be I forgot. Made. It must be transferred. Uh... Someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go mm. use this thing. Yes. No, what? Are you going to kill somebody for it? Who are you planning to kill? Well... You're kind of annoying me right now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now. And it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry. I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I thought we were going to ask Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. 
So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. Uh, I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. No cost is too high. Uh, we should destroy it. Sorry, Drax. No, I'm, I'm thinking we destroy it. Ola can't get her hands on this again. If she does, we're gonna all be speaking Cree. Or dead. Yeah, why would we be speaking Cree? Well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. What? If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I'm always emotionally unavailable. Well, Rocket is anyway. Okay. Um, Mimica, sure. Mm. What are you doing? Helping? Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Right, of course. <sighs> I could have gotten dirty with you. The shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. We gotta calm everybody down first. Alright, this is gonna take some time, so I'm gonna stop this episode here. Um, it's interesting that they brought Mantis into the game. Um, and it's interesting to see where we're going and where we could be at and where we could where we could be going. All this stuff. Uh, are we gonna bring anybody back from the dead? I don't know. Are we going to destroy the thing? Probably not right away. But uh, we're definitely going to run into the hollow again. You know, that's going to be a problem. So, But for right now, hey, we're having a good time in episode three. But for right now, please like the video. Subscribe to Rick Games. It helps me out a lot when you do that. Check out the annotations at the end of the video for more videos that I've done next time on Rick Games. We're going to talk to our crew and make sure that they're emotionally available for their, everyone and for Mantis to calm down. Let's not leave this in a state of emotional unrest. Except for right now, we're leaving this in a state of emotional unrest. But it doesn't matter. Whatever. Next time on Red Games. Bye!